There is frustration among public workers as a vaccine mandate is set to take effect on Monday. There's also concern that the mandate could lead to a shortage of workers. Manolo Morales reports. First responders are already being stretched to the limit because of the pandemic, and some say this vaccine mandate can only make things worse. Those who don't comply with the mandate can be suspended without pay and ultimately be fired. Some 1,200 first responders throughout the state are already fighting it through a class action lawsuit, and there's growing concern that there won't be enough workers to ensure public safety. As far as Honolulu is concerned, you know, we're strapped. Police, fire, EMS, um, we're all strapped and trying to just keep public safety going on a daily basis. In Honolulu, the fire department is trying to fill 100 vacancies. HPD is short more than 300 workers, and EMS could use 40 more. As far as vaccination rates, HFD is 75% fully vaccinated. Same for HPD, EMS is at 80%. Lee points out that Honolulu also has the strictest mandate compared to other counties. Those who don't qualify for religious or medical exemption must get vaccinated. He says the differences between the counties cause even more problems. What causes the most damage is when the employers aren't all on the same page. They're not uh, operating consistently across the state. So you have the different jurisdictions coming out with different rules. Mayor Rick Blandjardi says workers will be given the time to get the two shots so any suspensions wouldn't take place for a few weeks. And in that time, with cases rising at an alarming rate, people could change their minds. People have told me I wasn't getting vaccinated, but now I'm really scared and I feel motivated. Those people who are on the edge, they just need some kind of, you know, convincing. He adds that the FDA should give full approval to the vaccine by then and more businesses will require their workers to get vaccinated. All we can do is appeal to people's sense of reason with good medical facts and hope that they'll respond accordingly. That is really what I'm hoping for. I'll say it again. I do not want to fire one single person, but we are going to leave this up to their choice. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.